Hey guys, Super Plus Shoes here, and today I'm going to be doing my Planets vs. Zombies Splash Collection. As you can tell, I have tons of Planets vs. Zombies plushes all over the place, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a plush collection of them today. So yeah, this video is going to be pretty long, so I'm just going to start off with like links and plushes probably. Now the first plush I have is Pea Shooter. Uh, this is the classic Lynx and Pea Shooter. The tag on this one's very faded. But yeah, it's overall still in pretty good condition. It's missing the suction cup, and it is missing the uh, basically the entirety of the tag because it's all faded. But yeah, still overall pretty good plush in my opinion. I'm glad that I have it. Next up, we have the Light Face Sunflower. So yeah, this is the Light Face Sunflower. There is a Dark Face variant, but I do like this one more. Uh, the main reason for it is just like I, I just like the design more. I think it just looks better in my opinion. Uh, the tag, once again, is faded, just like the pea shooters, but this one does have a suction cup on it, but yeah, this one's definitely the better one, in my opinion, it's also the rarer one. And well, next up, we also have the dark face sunflower, this is just the light face one, just with a dark face. This one also has a very skinny stem, so it just basically falls over every time you gotta get it to stand it up, and uh, has a folded made in China tag. But yeah, this one, in my opinion, the light face sunflower is just better in my opinion. I just don't like the design as much. And also the stem on this one's just, it's really hard to get it to stand up. I, you could get it to stand up, but it's just very hard to do. Uh, it does have a very nice suction cup, though. It seems to be in, like in mint condition. And what we also have the Lynx and 2 redesigned sunflower. Uh, this one's just the Lynx and 2 variant. Obviously, this one's probably my least favorite because, well... I just don't like the design that much, and also the leaf base is all just weird compared to the old ones. So yeah, this one's just kind of worse than the other two in my opinion, but yeah. Uh, definitely not a plush I would recommend getting, I would definitely recommend getting either one of those before this one. And what we have the big size links in Sunflower, so this one's just like the dark face version, but just bigger obviously. And uh, yeah, it does have like a huge hole in the back of it, but it was sewed up by the original owner by the looks of it. Uh, it's missing the suction cup and the tag's also very faded. Uh, as you can tell if my camera focuses, but yeah. Uh, I still really like this plush, obviously. It's probably my worst condition big size because, well, it's just very damaged. But yeah, still overall pretty good. And well, next up we have the walnut. Uh, this one's actually not really that much of a walnut shape because, as you can see, it's just for some reason just, like, really tall for some reason. But yeah, still overall pretty nice plush. It's in pretty good condition. The tag is pretty bent. But the plush itself is still very soft, as you can see. You can see, like, the fur on it changing color. But yeah, it's overall really nice. The suction cup's in good condition. The string's in good condition. Overall, just a pretty nice walnut plush. And we have the big size walnut as well. As you can see, it's just the normal size length of walnut, but it's just bigger. Uh, this one also has a string and suction cup, which is actually longer than the normal size ones, which makes sense because it's a big size. But yeah, the tag is uh, pretty damaged, as you can see. Pretty faded, just like sunflowers tags and the big size sunflowers tags. But yeah, still overall in pretty good condition. It's still pretty soft as well. Not as soft as the normal size, but still pretty good. Pretty nice plush in my opinion. It's also a nicer shape than that one. Next up we have the Potato Mine. Oh, this one's a new plush that I got this year. Overall, pretty good condition. It has the folded made in China tag on it. I got this one for very cheap, like only around like a few dollars because I got it from China. Which obviously means that this plush was a lot cheaper than the others. It's still very soft. Really nice condition. It actually has like this on it where the hang tag used to be. Which I don't know how the hang tag got detached from this. And this is still managed to be there. But still overall pretty cool. Alright so I may have forgot the Lynx and 2 pea shooter. Uh, it's basically just this pea shooter but just worse. But yeah I kind of forgot about it. It also has a felt leaf for some reason. Next up we have the snow pea. This one's basically just the pea shooter pattern, except it's dark blue and well, it has a darker green leaf base. And also spikes on the back, which actually aren't made out of a felt material. They're actually made out of a pretty good material, so they hold up really nicely. Uh, the string on it is kind of damaged. It kind of gets bent over time for some reason. But this one actually stands up just really nicely. It almost just fell over, but... Alright, so most of the time it stands up really nicely. You're just going to have to trust me on that one. And next up we have the redesigned snow pea. This one's once again just this snow pea, except for some reason the eyes are looking separate ways. I hate that. And also the leaf base is slightly weird, and this one also stands up pretty nicely. Yay, I actually did it this time, so yeah, that, that proves I'm not lying, guys. And next up we have the keychain snow pea. This one actually still has his Lynx and hang tag on it, as you can see it says Lynx on the back of it. It also has the Lynx and tush tag, which is a bit bent. 
But yeah, overall, a really nice watch. It's very small compared to this one. And it's actually my only links and keychain that I have. So yeah, it doesn't have the keychain part on it as it fell off, but still overall pretty nice. And here's my final links and snow piece, the big size of it. Uh, this one's actually really nice. It's really uh, soft. It also has a lot of stuffing in it. But yeah, uh, it's missing the tush tag. It doesn't have the suction cup on it. But yeah, still overall pretty nice plush. It is a bit damaged here. As you can see, it's just kind of bent there. But yeah, overall pretty good plush still. I really like this one actually. Next up we have the Sun Shroom. Uh, this one's my only Sun Shroom plush. It's missing the suction cup, but it still has the string. It's also missing the tag on it. But yeah, this one was actually one of my first ever Plants vs. Zombies plushes, and well, they kind of started this whole collecting thing, so yeah. Uh, one of my earliest Plants vs. Zombies plushes that I got. And it's still in pretty good condition. It does have, like, this here, but that was from the original owner. But yeah, overall, pretty good plush. And next up, we have the Doom Shroom. This one's on the rarer side of things. It's missing the tag, and it's also missing the suction cup. And it's definitely not in the best condition, but yeah, I still really like this plush. Uh, you know, definitely not the most accurate Doom Shroom plush as it's all gray and even though that's not supposed to be like that. But still overall pretty nice plush in my opinion. It's not in the best condition, but still I'm glad that I have it. Also, as you'll notice, it uses the exact same pattern as the Sun Shroom except it just has eyes up here instead of down there. Now, I was trying to go in order of like characters of like plants, but I, I kind of went out of order. So yeah, next up is Chomper 1. I know it's not in the correct order, but I just have way too many to go in the correct order anyways. Uh, we have the very damaged links and tag. The neck's very floppy, so it doesn't really stand up. Uh, but yeah, so overall, really rare plush. And yeah, the football zombie in his mouth is kind of bent and damaged, but still overall, really nice plush. One of my actually first rare plushes that I got. And next up, we have the second design of Chomper. This one has a light purple string. And well, this one's probably the most well-known design, and well, the most common design, as you can tell, it has a movable mouth. And it's honestly probably the best design of uh, Chomper that Linkson made. It has a very damaged tag on it, but still, overall, I really like this plush. It was actually the last Chomper plush that I got, which is very weird, especially because it's the most common one. And next up, we have the third design of Chomper. As you can tell, it's just the first design, except with the zombie not in the mouth. Uh, the tag's very damaged on this one as well. Doesn't have a suction cup. There's also missing one of the spikes on it. But I got this plush for very cheap, so yeah. Uh, you know, still overall pretty nice plush. Glad that I got it because, well, Chomper 3 is semi-rare. It's not really rare, it's just kind of semi-rare. And, well, we have the big size of Chomper 1. If you thought Chomper 1 was rare, then I have the big size of it, which is even rare. Uh, pretty good condition tag. Overall, this plush is actually just really good condition. It's missing the hang string. But yeah, the football zombies kind of bent as you can tell there. But yeah, overall, really nice plush. It was actually the first ever big size which I got, so yeah. It's kind of funny that I got a really rare big size. One of my rarest to this day as my first one. But yeah, overall, really nice plush. And my final Lynx and Chomper plush. Big size Chomper 3. This is probably the rarest Lynx and Chomper plush and probably one of my rarest Lynx and plushes in general. Uh, pretty good condition tag. It is bent, but... Yeah, this is probably one of my rarest links and plushes, and one of my rarest plants versus zombies plushes in general, because I only really know, like, two other people that own this plush. So, yeah, overall, really rare. The neck is very floppy on this plush. But, yeah, overall, I'm really glad that I got it, because I got it for pretty cheap for how rare this plush is. Next up, we have Blover. This one's missing the tag, and it also has a really short string for some reason. Uh, this one's actually really recent, as I just got it for Christmas. But yeah, I really like this plush. I've been needing it for a while, and I've just never got it for some reason. Next up, we have the jalapeno. This is my first jalapeno, you can tell, because it has a white string. Uh, the tag is still in pretty good condition. And yeah, this is also one of my first ever Plants vs. Zombies plushes. So yeah, once again, one of my earliest ones that I got, and it's still in pretty good condition. And then we have my second Lynx in jalapeno, you can tell, because it has a light green string, and also the tag slightly in better condition. Ah uh, yeah, this one's also uh, pretty old that I got. It's one of my earlier plushes that I got. But yeah, I got this one in a lot, which is why I have two of them. Because usually I don't buy doubles for my plushes, but this one just kind of came in a lot, so I kind of just got it. Next up, we have the Split P. This one's also pretty good. Uh, it's still a really nice condition. It doesn't have a tag on it, but still has the string. 
This one has a really big leaf base to make it stand up better, which as you can tell works actually. So yeah, overall really nice flush. It does kind of bend the stem a lot and make it like all wrinkly when it stands up. But yeah, still overall pretty nice flush. Next up we have the melon pulp, which was my first ever plant plush, so yeah. Uh, this one's my first ever Linkson plush, my first ever plant plush. It doesn't have the tag on it because it was cut off by the original owner. Uh, the uh, iron-on material is pretty bad condition, as you can tell on some spots like here, it's cracking. But yeah, still overall really nice. I really like this plush because well, it just kind of has sentimental value to me. And well, we also have a second Linkson melon pole. This one's slightly different than the other one because well, it's just kind of wider, has a white string. It actually has the whole tag on it, which isn't in good condition, but it still has it. Uh, the string is also slightly longer on this one than that one for some reason. But yeah, overall, pretty nice flush. Uh, once again, just like the other jalapeno over there, it just kind of came in a lot, so I got it. Next up, we have the big size melon pole. As you can tell, it's pretty big compared to the normal sizes. Uh, it doesn't have a suction gub on it. Uh, it has a tag on it, which is pretty bent, but it's still in pretty nice condition because it's not faded at all. Uh, there's a very long vine on it, which, as you can tell, is a lot longer than the others. It's supposed to be all raveled up, but most of them just kind of lost it and just kind of got unraveled over the years because this plush is still pretty old. Next up, we have the Melon Pulp Phone Holder, as you can tell. This is probably my first extremely rare plush that I got. But yeah, yeah, there's supposed to be like a really small phone because this plush was released in like 2010, so... It was made for a very small type of phone. It's actually smaller than these, like the normal sizes. Yeah, it's not in the best condition, but still one of my rarest flushes and one of my first flushes that I got as well. And by far my rarest links in Melon Pulp, the Melon Pulp Pillow. As you can tell, this one's huge compared to the other ones because, well, it's obviously a pillow, so it's huge compared to basically every single plush that I've shown you so far. And this one's definitely one of my rarest links in plushes in general. Really nice tag, really fuzzy. I got this plush for only like $25 because I got it off of a Chinese website for very cheap. The vine's in really nice condition. And yeah, great plush, very big plush. And well, if you can find out, I definitely recommend getting it. Next up, I have the Cabbage Pool. This one has a pretty nice string. It's missing the tag. And one thing I really like about this plush is that it has a lot of definition to it and a lot of extra pieces, which makes it look really nice. Pretty nice plush. Definitely better than like the redesigned cabbage pulp. Next up we have my first kernel pulp. It's missing the suction cut because for some reason the original owner cut the string of it. Has a folded made in China tag and overall pretty good condition. Uh, it's not the original Linkson version as you can tell because it has a folded made in China tag. But I do have an original Linkson version which I'll show you right now. And here's the original Linkson version as you can tell. The Linkson tag has like glue on it for some reason. I don't know what the original owner did that for, but still, this one's a lot softer than this one just because, well, it's the original release and it's also a lot squishier because for some reason the original links and releases were just higher quality. Next up, we have the textureless kernel pulp. It's just this kernel pulp, but with no texture, obviously. There's tons of designs of kernel pulps. I have very little of them. Uh, it also has a very faded tag and it has a string on it. Also, one of my earliest rare plushes I got alongside the Melon Pulp phone holder. Next up, we have the big size kernel pulp. Has a links and tag on it. And it's overall pretty good condition. It has a long string and a suction cup on it. Oh, it's very, like, squishy. It's very soft. Very nicely made. The eyes do have strings coming off them, which obviously isn't a good thing. But yeah, still overall, really nice plush. Also pretty rare because it's the big size version. Next up, we have this non lengthened kernel pulp, but I'm kind of shoving it here because I really don't know where else to put it. It's this textureless Korean kernel pulp. As you can see, it has Korean text there. It has a very small suction cup and string. It also has iron on for the eyes and eyebrows. I don't know what this is, what company it was made by, but I was just really interested in it, so I got it for my birthday. I don't know what it is, so comment down below uh, if you know anything about the company that made that or if there's any other plushes like that out there. Alright, so one thing I just noticed is that I, I forgot Cherry Bomb. Yeah, so I don't know how I managed to forget about Cherry Bomb when I have two plushes of him, but yeah. Uh, the normal size of it was like buried in like plushes, so I didn't really find it until now. It was supposed to be one of the first ones I went over, but I, I, I kind of forgot about it because it was buried. But yeah, 
Overall, pretty nice plush. The leaf is pretty damaged on it. It does have a suction cup. It actually has a really nice string. It's a really nice color of red. And uh, it doesn't have a tag on it. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I kind of forgot this one. And well, we also have the big size cherry bomb, which I think like one cherry is bigger than that whole plush. So yeah, it's obviously a very big plush. The tag on it is very faded, and that's just, this plush is actually the reason why I remembered it, because it was just kind of sitting in my case. And I'm like, oh, I forgot about Cherry Bomb. But yeah, pretty nice plush. The leaf is also pretty damaged on it, because it's made out of a felt material, and it is missing the suction cup. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush. Next up, we have the Winter Melon. I know it's not in the correct order, but I'm just going to kind of put it next to the Melon Pulse, because that adds up. Uh, it has a dark green string on it. Overall, pretty nice. Uh, it does have a little bit of damage on the iron-on material right here. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush. It doesn't have a tag on it, but it's still really fuzzy. Next up, we have the three-peater. I know it's not a Linkson plush, but I don't have anywhere else to put it. It doesn't have a tag on it, but it still has the suction cup and string on it. And well, this one, the middle head, for some reason, always gets stuck back here. For some reason, it always looks really weird. But yeah, and also, like, the... This part of the plush could fall out because it's only glued on, which I don't know why they just didn't make it all one part. It's a really weird design choice. But yeah, pretty nice plush. It is very small though. Next up, I have the Twin Sunflower. It has a dark green string once again. And for some reason, this neck is just very floppy because it has a very thin stem. It also doesn't have a tag on it, but yeah. So overall, pretty nice plush. It would be nice though if this like stem actually held up better. Since it's very skinny, there are some ones that have really thick stems, they stand up well, but mine doesn't. Next up, I have the cactus. This one's the redesigned cactus, as you can tell by the tag. And, uh, yeah, I don't have the original links and design of the cactus, but the redesign, I guess, works. Because it still overall looks pretty good, unlike some redesigns that look terrible. Next up, I have the cattail. Uh, this one, for some reason, has a hole in the bottom of it. It also is missing the tag. So it's also missing the suction cup, but besides all the things that are missing on it, it's still actually really soft and in pretty good condition. But the original would just decide to cut the tag off, cut the string off, like left it in good condition, which is overall just a really weird thing to do. Also, since I just went over the cattail, I might as well go over my custom made lily pad plush. It's based off of the Hello World uh, lily pad, but it's custom made obviously, it has some felt eyes on it. But yeah, overall, pretty nice lily pad plush. It's to scale with the Hello World one, because I based it off of that. But yeah, I made this one a few years ago, but yeah. Overall, pretty nice plush, and I'm glad that I custom made it, because, well, uh, the original lily pad plush is extremely rare, and I'll probably never get it. Next up, I have this Apple Bomb plush. Uh, it's not the original Linkson version. It has a suction cup on it. It does have a hole in its neck, as you'll notice, because, uh... Once again, just like other plushes, I got it in a lot, so this one just kind of came with it. I'm just like, oh, it has a hole in the neck, and I never fixed it. And I actually got it after I got the big size one, which I'll show you next. And next up is the big size Apple Bomb. I got this one long before I got that one. And as you can see, the head of it's basically the size of the normal size plush. But yeah, it's missing the tag on it. The neck's very floppy, as you can tell. But yeah, it's also missing the tag on it, but... So even though the neck is really floppy, I found ways to make it stand up better. It's uh, very hard to do, but I found ways to do it. Yeah, overall pretty nice plush. Next up is the Bursa. This one's missing the tush tag, but it does have the suction cup on it. But yeah, uh, this one's overall really nice. I really do like this plush. And uh, yeah, it's pretty obscure plush as well because, well, it's just basically not even based off of an official character. It's based off of the Fake Plans vs. Zombies 2 leak, which is actually a pretty interesting topic in itself. And next up is a plush that I didn't show you earlier is the Cherry Bomb Pillow. Uh, the reason why I didn't show you it earlier is because, well, I just kind of wanted to save space for it back there. But yeah, overall pretty nice. It has a car strap on the back of it. It has the felt leaf on it. And uh, yeah, overall pretty good condition. I was just saving space back there for it to make sure it fit. And another plush that I need to save space for is the jalapeno pillow. As you can tell, this is huge, especially compared to Blastoise. This plush is just huge. Uh, it's missing the tish tag on it because what was basically just all faded away. But yeah, overall, this plush is really good. It does take up a lot of space though, so yeah, uh, I need to save space back there for it. But yeah, overall, it's the exact same as those jalapeno plushes over there. 
except it just doesn't have a lily pad on the bottom of it and it's obviously just a lot bigger than any of the other plants vs zombies plushes that i own and well moving on from links and plushes we have a world max plush this one's the big size version of the sunflower it has some like foam tube in its stem so it doesn't get floppy even though the neck on this plush did get floppy because the foam somehow broke by the original owner but yeah the plants vs zombies tag is very folded so it's very hard to see but yeah, still a pretty good plush, and it was one of my first, if not my first, World Max plush that I got. And well, to go with that Sunflower plush, we have the Sunflower pillow, still in its original bag. But yeah, this one also takes up a lot of space, as you can tell, because it's very big. And it still has the tag on it, obviously, because it's, well, factory sealed. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush. Next up, we have the World Max jalapeno. I do really like the 3D eyes on this one. It adds a lot of detail to it. It has some pretty nice embroidery on it as well. It has the Plants vs. Zombies tag, which is the same as the Sunflowers tags. Except these are just in a lot better condition, as you can tell. And as you can see, a lot of it's for some reason in Russian. I don't know why that is. The next up is the Gatling P. Uh, the helmet on this plush does fall off, but I try to keep it on as best as possible. But yeah, overall, this plush's barrels out of its mouth like kind of stick out really weirdly for some reason. It also has the Russian Plants vs. Zombies tag, as you can see. It says Neo Cube right there, so that's how you can tell it's from Russia. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush. The neck is all bent and like just like that one because the foam on it just got destroyed for some reason by the original owner. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush. Next up, we have the World Max Normal Size Squash. It has the Talisman tag on it, which is bent sadly. But yes, I actually don't have the big size version of the squash, which is a lot more common than this one. So I don't know how I managed to get this one, but not that one. But yeah, overall pretty nice. That's the Plants vs. Zombies 2 tag on it. And yeah, overall pretty good plush. It is pretty small though for a squash, especially compared to like Lynx and plushes. World Max's plush is a lot smaller, especially in the normal size. And next up we have the Birthdays Keychain Squash, as you can tell. It's for the, uh, uh, the second anniversary. I don't know if you could see that, but still it's pretty nice. It has a tag on it, obviously, and it's still factory sealed. Oh uh, yeah, overall pretty unique plush, and basically only the keychain exists as the big size is basically owned by no one and only has one picture of it. Next up, we have one of my rarest Plants vs. Zombies plushes, the Dead Pea Shooter. This one's missing the pea in its mouth. Overall, the face is in really good condition. The embroidery just looks really nice on this plush. The leaf's pretty nice. It also has the original tags on it, except they are pretty bent, as you can tell. But yeah, it doesn't really stand up that well, so it needs something to lay on, just like the Gatling P over there. But yeah, overall, really nice plush. And the foam is getting damaged over time, so I'm trying to keep it in best condition as possible. And that is all the Plants vs. Zombies 1 plants. We still have Plants vs. Zombies 2 plants in here to go over, but before we do that, I'm going to go over the Plants vs. Zombies 1 zombie plushes. Starting off with a basic zombie, this one has a yellow button, which is actually pretty rare. It also has a nice tag on it, which is in pretty good condition. For some reason, it does have a line for it if it focuses. But yeah, it uh, has a pretty nice string on it, pretty good condition. Pretty nice plush overall. Next up, we have the World Max Basic Zombie Normal Size. I'm combining World Max and Linkston because this video is just taking way too long. Uh, yeah, the eyes on this plush are chipped as you can tell because they're made out of a very, uh, like, weak material. So they can easily get damaged over the years. The teeth could also get damaged, but yeah, the plush is overall just really nice. And well, one thing to note about this plush is that the tag on it has the PVZ Ren Ren on it, which is actually a pretty rare tag. Next up is the big size World Max Basic Zombie. This one has all the same problems with the eyes as the other one. As you can see, the eyes on this one are just really damaged, sadly. The teeth are also just bent upward for some reason. But yeah, this one doesn't have an iron-on tie like that one over there. And also, just like the Gatling P over there, it has a Russian Plants vs. Zombies tag on it. Next up, we have the Conehead Zombie. This one's a folded made in China tag release, which means it's very firm. Like, it doesn't have, like... Like, the original Linkson plushes had, like, very little stuffing in them, which this one has tons of stuffing in them for some reason. But yeah, overall, the embroidery on the face is really nice and pretty accurate as well. The eyes do have, like, felt material on them, so they could get damaged over the years. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush, pretty good condition as well. 
Then so we have the Buckethead Zombie. This one's the MCC Buckethead Zombie. It has the normal MCC tag on it, which is very long. And it also has a hang tag on it, which is in not the best condition. Also, the eyes do have a little bit of chipping on it, as you can tell. This size is in actually a pretty good condition, though, which is actually pretty rare for these splashes, as they usually get damaged a lot. It also, for some reason, doesn't have a tie, which seems to be a common thing on MCC plushes for some reason. Next up, we have the screen door zombie. The screen door on this plush is made out of this very delicate foam material, which is a terrible design choice. It's going to get easily damaged. Also, this little doorknob here made out of this, like, little bead that's glued on. So, yeah, obviously not the best material is used on it. Uh, the tie is made out of a completely separate material, unlike the Lynxon ones. And yeah, it's overall just a really high quality plush, especially because it's a bootleg. Next up, we have the newspaper zombie. It has felt glasses and also has iron on them, so they could easily get damaged. It has a felt newspaper on it. But yeah, overall, pretty nice plush. It came with, like, the stitching on the back of it all messed up. So it had to be re-sewn. But yeah, pretty nice plush. Missing the tag on it. But yeah, overall, pretty good. It also has, like, a weird shirt because for some reason it has, like, embroidery here, which isn't normal. Next up, we have the duct tube zombie. This is the normal brown shirt version. It also has a felt tag and a felt duck on it, which could easily collect dust and debris over the years. It doesn't have a tag on it, but it does have a suction cup and string on it. We yeah, overall pretty nice plush. I'm really glad that I got it, especially because it's the original design. And next up we have the black shirt duck tube, which is the exact same thing as this one, except it just has a darker shirt on it, obviously. There's not much else to say about it, because well, it's the exact same plush, but it does have a folded made in China tag. And it also does have a suction cup and string on it. You know, I also have the redesigned duck tube, which is the exact same as these ones. Except the face just looks uglier on it. And that's really like the only difference about it, honestly. Next up, I have the hypnotized zombie. This one's pretty good. It's basically just the normal basic zombie plush back there. Except it's just purple because it's a hypnotized zombie. Pretty nice. It doesn't have a tag on it. doesn't have a suction cup. And I actually got this plush from Australia. Next up, we have this really good condition hypnotized zombie. As you can tell, it's very soft. Has a really good condition wings and tag. Probably the best condition one that I own. It also has the original string on it. Uh, the reason I got this one is that number one, it was cheap. And also, I wanted a mint condition version of the hypnotized zombie because I only had that one. So yeah, really nice plush. We also have the NKB hypnotized zombie, which is basically just a bootleg of the Linkson version. Which is why this one's just lower quality overall. You know, it just doesn't really look that nice in my opinion. It doesn't have a tag. Uh, the button's all damaged. The coat's all damaged. But yeah, just not really that good of a plush. Also, another weird thing about this plush is that the legs on it are just really short compared to the Linkson versions. Next up, we have the Grass Skirt Zombie. This one has a lot of felt on it. And also, these clothings could get easily unstitched and get easily damaged over the years. Uh, the tag on this one's all messed up for some reason. I don't know what the original owner did, but it's all like stretched out. But yeah, overall, really weird plush. It came from the same thing that Bursa came from. It's a fake Plants vs. Zombies 2 leak zombie. Next up, we have the Linkson 2 Dolphin Rider zombie. This one's a very bright red color. It has a normal Made in China tag because it's made by Linkson 2. But yeah, the plush itself is overall really soft and still in really good condition. And then we have the original Linkson version, which is missing the dolphin on it. It's still pretty cool though that I have the original Linkson version. It came from the same lot as this Apple Bomb that I got. But yeah, overall pretty good plush. The main China tag is all beat up. But yeah, this one's actually the original release, which is still pretty good to have. And well, next up we have this other Dolphin Rider zombie made by the same people that made the Screen Door zombie. Uh, the dolphin on this one has like bead eyes, which is the exact same thing as the doorknob on this plush. But yeah, it also has a very like metallic red string on it. It's also made out of this really weird material. I don't know what it's made out of. So it turns out I forgot a basic zombie because well this is the redesigned version of the Linkson one. So yeah, I kind of just forgot about it because once again it was at the bottom of a basket. But yeah, it doesn't really matter that much because it's really not that unique of a plush. And next up is the Imp. Uh, this one has a very weird like felt material on the chest for some reason. 
Now, the face is overall pretty good. It does have some hair here, which is made out of a felt material, which could get bent by the suction cup itself because it's just kind of sitting there. The overall pretty nice detail to add to the plush. I'm pretty sure it's one of the only Linkson plushes that actually have hair on it. He also has, for some reason, these very pointy feet. Now, up next up, we have the Disco Zombie. This one has some pretty damaged eyes, but still overall really good plush. Really glad that I got it. There's actually like the shiny shirt NKB version, so yeah. Uh, it's actually a pretty rare plush because, well, the NKB version is just rare in itself, but the shiny shirt version is even rarer. It also has a very nice gold chain on it, which is made out of a pretty weak material, but it still holds up pretty nicely if you don't purposely damage it. Now, well, next up is the Gargantua. This one has a felt material body. There are other ones that have different materials, but I got the felt one. Uh, the string on it is attached to the imp, which could get bent over time for some reason. I don't know why it does that. And the imp could come out, but I'm not going to put it out because it's kind of hard to get back in. But yeah, overall, pretty big plush compared to the normal ones, and I'm really glad that I got it. It also has a full main china tag on it. And there's all the Plants vs. Zombies 1 Zombies I have. So now moving back to the Plants, we have the Plants vs. Zombies 2 Plants. Well, it turns out I made another mistake. I forgot about these Pangea plushes, which are all Plants vs. Zombies 1 plushes. So yeah, kind of forgot about them on that one. But yeah, starting off Plants vs. Zombies 2, we have the Iceberg Lettuce. Uh, this one has a suction cup and string on it. It doesn't have a tag. And just like the Cabbage Pole, it has pretty good definition here. So yeah, overall pretty nice plush. Next up is the Bloomerang, and uh, yeah, it has a folded main china tag, and it also has a lime green body and a dark blue top, which is actually pretty rare. Next up is the Coconut Can, it has this very weird iron-on material here, except it's not really a bad iron-on material, because it actually holds up really well over the years for some reason, which isn't normal for iron-on material, but yeah, it has some felt leaves, a felt fuse on the top of it. But yeah, overall pretty nice plush. It is very squished most of the time, so yeah, it's overall pretty weird design. Next up is the Spring Bean. Uh, this one's missing some uh, stitching down here, so this part got damaged. But it's also missing a tag, but still overall pretty good condition. And uh, actually, this is probably the best Spring Bean plush that was ever released, because the only other one just looks really bad in my opinion. Next up is the Chili Bean. This one's the redesigned Chili Bean. I don't have the original version, but there's really no point of getting the original version. Because this one's basically the exact same as the other one, except it's just kind of like higher quality, I guess. Because this one's just kind of softer. Next up is Citron. It has a felt piece here, which could get damaged. But besides that, the rest of the plush is overall really good. And it's actually the only plush that uses this leaf base, which actually makes it really unique. And also has a full domain in China tag. Next up is the Electric Blueberry. This plush itself is overall just really good. I don't know what these leaves are made out of, but they make this like really weird noise for some reason. I don't know if you could hear it on camera, but it makes a pretty weird noise. Next up is Bamboo Shoot. This plush has a full main China tag and has a dark dirt version. There's a version with light dirt, but that one's actually pretty rare compared to this one because I'm pretty sure this one's the more common one. Next up we have the Fire Gourd. This one's missing the tag on it, it's also missing the suction cup. But yeah, the splash is overall pretty good, it has some pretty nice embroidery on it. And it has some felt material on the stem here. Next up we have Dragon Fruit. This one has pretty nice embroidery and it actually has a lot of details on it because, well, as you can see here, there is a bit of glue missing there for some reason. But also, you can see, just look how many separate pieces of, like, plush material there are. They obviously put a lot of work into this one. They just need to work on, like, making their glue actually work. And next up is the Gatling Pea Pillow. Uh, now you're probably wondering why I saved this one for Plants vs. Zombies 2. If Gatling Pea is a Plants vs. Zombies 1 plant, well, this one was released for Plants vs. Zombies 2 because, well, the Plants vs. Zombies Chinese game, this one actually is in it, so. Yeah, it was for some anniversary thing, I think. As you can see, it's official. It has a hole in the tag because that's where the hang tag used to be, and also it has pop cap down here. But yeah, this probably has to be one of my favorite Plants vs. Zombies plushes that I own. And now moving on to the Plants vs. Zombies 2 Zombies. Starting off, we have the Raw Zombie. This one has plastic eyes on it. This one was part of the Plastic Eye Zombie set. It has a normal Made in China tag on it. Next up is the Pirate Zombie, which is actually a really weird one because no one knows what it's actually based off of. Because, well, this obviously looks nothing like the game's Pirate Zombie. So, yeah, it's kind of just unknown what it's based off of. There's also a version with a blue bandana instead of a black bandana. And we also have a Pirate Gargantuar. 
Uh, this one for some reason has stuffing in the back of it. I don't know if that's supposed to be there because it just kind of came with the plush. But yeah, overall, pretty cool plush. The one weird thing about it though is that it's really small compared to any other zombies, even though it's supposed to be a gargantuar, which literally makes no sense. Next up, we have the cowboy zombie. This one's missing the suction cup on it. And well, the hat could actually get very easily damaged because it's made out of a felt material. But yeah, still a pretty cool plush. Next up, I have the rodeo zombie. Same thing with the cowboy zombie, could get very easily damaged. One weird thing about this plush is that it's based off of a very obscure zombie, which is very weird because it's pretty much the only merchandise of the zombie that exists. Next up, we have the cowboy imp. This one's the same thing as the imp we looked at earlier, except it's just in a cowboy outfit. And also, the hat could get very easily damaged, basically like every cowboy plush that was ever made. Next up, we have the black hair guitar zombie. Uh, this one's rare because it actually has black hair instead of brown hair, so yeah, overall pretty nice. It also has a guitar that's made out of a felt material that can get very easily damaged. But yeah, this one's actually a pretty rare zombie plush. And just like the potato mine we looked at earlier, somehow the hang tag got ripped off of here except not this thing. Next up, we have the jester zombie. This is the original design, which is actually a lot rarer than the redesign because, well, the redesign has like the normal eyes, so yeah. I um, actually really like this version a lot more because it kind of fits the jester. Next up we have this Frankenstein Gargantuar. Overall really good. It has lots of embroidery on the face as you can tell. It has lots of details. Just looks really nice in my opinion. The imp also has a lot of details on it. Especially for a really small plush like the imp is really good. And this plush is actually just really high quality in my opinion. It's also just really nice. It's also bigger than my other Gargantuar that I have. Next up we have the Neon Zombie. Uh, this one is the redesign you can tell because it has blue jeans on it. Which also like fall off really easily for some reason. Next up we have the Egg Pusher Imp. A hoodie on this plush actually comes off which is a really unique feature. But yeah, pretty nice. Next up we have the Hammer Zombie which is only holding a hammer with one hand even though it's supposed to be holding it with two. I really like it with only holding the hammer with one hand because I think it looks better in my opinion. It also has a felt beard that could get damaged. Next up we probably have my biggest plant source of zombies plush. The big size gong zombie. Now this is the re-release big size gong zombie but it's still overall pretty rare. As you can tell it just basically takes up the entire space of all these zombies. And it's even bigger than my other Gargantuar plush by like a whole head. And now the final plush in this whole collection that we've looked at. Which is probably the most important, being the Super Brains. Now the reason why this plush is so important is because it's my first ever Plants vs. Zombies plush. So yeah, overall pretty good plush. That's my entire Plants vs. Zombies plush collection. But yeah, this is my entire Plants vs. Zombies plush collection of 2023. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, like and subscribe, and yeah, have a great day.